Welcome back to the Hawkeye Garage. I am Joe. A little bit different video today. Uh, as you can see, you can join me on location from our vacation up in northern Michigan. I uh, had all my camera gear with me and I've been rushing the last couple weeks uh, to get ready for this trip so videos kind of fell behind and uh, come to find out they have Wi-Fi so I figured got a little downtime, a little R&R, &R, throw a couple videos together for you guys and get them uploaded uh, because Honestly, the scenery is a little bit inspiring uh, for going through all the effort building a rig like this. So today's video, a uh, few little minor interior modifications, little creature comforts that have really upped our uh, game as far as organization and storage and just making things a little bit nicer uh, on a road trip. So we're going to walk around through those things and show you what I've got going on and of course I will drop links uh, in the description at the end of the video. So stay tuned. For those of you new to the channel, we have a 2007 GX470 here. Uh, of course, it's replaced our 4Runner. And if you go back in my previous videos, you'll see I have some kind of love and hate videos. And one of the biggest things that I did not like about this vehicle was lack of storage, lack of cup holders. Um, and we have modified and improved a couple of those things. So let's hop inside real quick and I'll show you what I have done. Jump in here to the center console. Um, big complaint about these, and the Toyotas as well, the, uh, the little separator in between the cup holders is awful. It's adjustable, it breaks, they don't fit. Now, the one that I had in my fourth gen 4Runner actually worked really well, and I never bothered to change it. It wasn't broken. It fit everything that we had really nicely. Um, this one was broken, and of course there's not any more cup holders besides these two, other than the two that I've added here, which of course I have a video on that, and I'm still working on that, guys. I know, um, unfortunately, that's kind of been low on the priority totem pole um, as of lately. But anyway, um, I went ahead and bought this insert off of eBay. Of course, I'll drop a link down below. Um, it adds a little bit of height. Um, it allows uh, you to take full advantage of the bigger cup holder on the driver's side. Uh, my wife uh, uses a water bottle that really didn't fit in any other cup holder besides this one. And with that little separator thing, we had to move it so far over. Nothing fit on the other side uh, besides like a can of pop. Um, but this utilizes um, the complete uh, space that the standard uh, cup holder has. It's held in place with double-sided stick-on Velcro, which is uh, pretty neat. And um, this top part actually snaps off. Um, I have not done that. I'm a little leery of 3D printed stuff. They can be a little bit brittle and there's no reason for us to need to remove that. But both of our water bottles fit in these four cup holders. Both of our coffee cups fit in here and um, they're way more uh, stable with this uh, added height. I, I really um, like this. I wasn't completely sure on it, but I knew we needed something uh, before these couple road trips that we've been taking. So I pulled the trigger on that, got that off eBay. I think that's the only place that you can get it. Of course, I will drop a link down below. It's like 40 bucks. It's not awful price. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I really like that. Next thing we've got going on on the interior is these little pop-in um, compartments. Now, a lot of guys have these in the 470s. It's a pretty popular mod. As far as I can tell, they all come from overseas and long shipping period overseas. It's not like buying it from Amazon. It still gets here in like a week. These took about three weeks. They did get here a week or two earlier than they were supposed to. Um, I'm actually pretty pretty impressed with these. They fit really good. There's um, some foam on there, which is kind of janky, but um, it uh, definitely serves its purpose. It holds it in there. As you can see, there's three-sided tape if you wanted to stick them in there. Um, but we're a family of four, and these are gonna get filthy because we travel and we you know, use our vehicle. So I wanted to be able to pull these out and clean them really well. So I did not stick them in there with the tape, um, and, but they still stay put with that foam um, kind of wedging everything into place. Uh, and they, my phone, I have a plus phone, pretty much fits in there, but the kids can put little knickknack stuff in there. We put trash wrappers and things in there and then dump them out at uh, the rest areas. About five bucks a piece. You can get these off eBay, you can get them off Amazon. They still come from 
um, you know, overseas, AliExpress. I got these from eBay. I'll probably drop a link for those, but you can get them all over the internet. It just takes a while uh, shipping wise, but highly recommend getting a set of those. All right, the last thing that I've got here is kind of hard to see. There's no good lighting to do this. It's either washed out or dark, but we have a, what's called an attic. Uh, basically up here got this from Amazon link below and uh, it's just nylon let me hop around from the back seat this is a little bit better view um, it's nylon and netting um, there's no elastic um, it's got buckles uh, that hold it into place and honestly I just kind of took a gamble on this one I didn't measure or anything and it fits perfectly uh, I'm really happy with that there's even a uh, Ah, there we go, a zipper pouch in there. Basically what I've used this for on this trip, extra pillows, extra blankets, stuffed animals from the kids um, up there. It really, it sagged way less than I thought that it would. Um, I thought it would really give um, and sag and be in my um, peripheral vision of my rear view mirror. Not an issue, um, I was really happy with that. We'll go back around Again, it really just tucks up in that extra space of the roof line. This is we didn't bring the dog on this trip, but in trips where we do have the dog, um, you know, he sheds and he's back here, whatever, no big deal. But there's always pillows and blankets, and then everything's covered in dog hair. So I'm always putting stuff in space saver bags, which also is a nice travel hack um, if you haven't tried that. Garbage bags to keep things, you know, hair free, but. Um, He's not that tall, so I'll be able to stack pillows and stuff up there and then also keep space um, over here um, open for other things that I don't necessarily care about dog hair. Um, but that has been a really great addition on the inside as well. Um, of course, you got the new air dual zone fridge in here. Um, I've added a little piece of Unistrut as a tie down. I don't need it with this because this thing is so big it just wedges into here. Um, I have a full video on basically doing the same mod in my 4Runner um, if you want to track that down. I've also upgraded my power supply um, options for the fridge. I'm going to be doing a full video on that because that has been a game changer with the refrigerator uh, stuff going on in here. And of course we have this, which is also going to be a full feature video. Really happy with that, really cool. It's come in handy. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, and I guess real quick, on the outside we've added the, uh, the Napa awning, which is really cool. Um, and uh, I'm really impressed with the quality of that. Maybe that'll be in a video. There you have it guys, a few little minor modifications on the inside, that cup holder insert the door handle inserts and the attic that have really upgraded our storage and just kind of all around comfort level well under a hundred dollars I will drop links for stuff in the description down below also in the description down below you'll find links over to my Instagram and my Facebook where if you follow me already you would have seen that stuff uh, uh, pictures of that stuff already and uh, of course check out the back catalog of videos because I've done a lot of other modifications to other vehicles in the past uh, that have kind of led us to this point. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, turn those notifications on. This video is gonna go on a Wednesday because I wanted to get some content out there for you guys. But our normal video schedule is every Sunday and if you turn the notifications on, you will get notified whenever that video drops. So until next Sunday when the next video drops, thank you for watching, take care, goodbye.